what has held you back all these years from telling this story in detail until now? Uh, I remember being humiliated, disgusted. I, I, was, I had revulsion towards Cosby. And Cosby was a very powerful man and probably still is. You know, I trusted this man and I stuffed it. I compartmentalized it because I was embarrassed. And at what point did you find yourself alone with Mr. Cosby? You trusted him, but then things went in a different direction, in your view. Mr. Gardner, Stu Gardner, left the dinner table. I was alone with him, and I had menstrual cramps. I had menstrual, my, you know, stomach cramps. He said, oh, I've got something for that, and he gave me a pill. And Did you ask what it was? I don't remember that. I don't remember, but if he's giving me a pill, I, I trust the guy. I, I trusted Bill Cosby, so he gave Why me. Why did you feel like you trusted him? Because of his demeanor and the promise of a career. And, you know, I, I, I trusted him. I, was, I wanted a television career. I always had a, I, I had, had a successful career for commercials. I wanted to take it to the next level. And at the same time, though, you were telling me you're in rehab. You were still very fragile. He offered you wine. That was a no-no in your view. But now he offers you a pill, and you still trust him? It was red wine. It was a pill. And then when I started to black out, I had a Polaroid camera on me. That's when I took several photographs with, with a Polaroid, when I had one of the first Polaroid cameras. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just remembered shooting these pictures and having them on me in my room the next morning when I woke up, the last thing I remember, I was I had blacked out and Cosby mounting me like the monster that he was. And I was thinking, what the heck? What the? And I just remember passing out. But I remember more specifically waking up and that he, there was a lot of pain in downstairs. There was semen all over me, and that my pajamas bottoms were off, and, and the top was open. And I, at that point, fight or flight, I just packed up and I got the hell out of there. What do you want from Bill Cosby right now? What do you need to hear from him? What does he need to do? <sighs> I would like Cosby to come out and at least acknowledge that he is a pig, that he is a monster, and he, have, he has raped me. Thank you, Janice Dickinson. Thank you, pleasure, Ms. Frederick. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, CNN. All right, thank you. I know it's tough. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's not this, even apologize. This, this, you know. I don't know how to process it's very, this. It's, I do not know how to process these emotions. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm going to meditate. I'm going to go to church. I don't, I do not know. This is affecting me in my house. It's affecting me. <laughs> And it has really affected these women. <laughs>